Auto attendance. Auto attendance are interactive voice recordings that allows callers to make selections in order to route their calls to their desired destination. The most common case use for auto attendant is having the main company phone number point to an auto attendant so that when callers call into the business, they can be routed to a party that they're trying to reach by listening to the menu prompt options or by dialing the user's extension directly. Clicking the auto attendant icon will take you to the auto attendant center. Here you can edit existing auto attendants, delete them, and create new ones. To add an auto attendant, click the Add Attendant button on the top right, name the auto attendant, and give it an extension. Note that the extension cannot be changed once the auto attendant has been created. Then select time frame for the auto attendant to be in effect. Once the auto attendant has been Created, click the intro greetings to record the first message callers will hear. The dial pad menu options is where you can configure what digits correlate to the specific treatment or application. When you select the digit, you will see the applications that you can choose from. User. This will allow you to forward the calls to an extension in the system. It will also give you the option to add a prefix to the caller ID so the user receiving the call will know that it is being forwarded from the auto attendant. Conference will forward the call to a conference bridge that you select. Call queues. This will allow the caller to be forwarded to a call queue. It will also allow you to have the system announce the number of calls in the queue ahead of the new caller or announce the average expected wait time. This also allows for a caller ID prefix to be added so that the agent in the queue knows the call is being routed from the auto attendant. Directory. This sends the call to the company directory. Voicemail will forward the call to a voicemail box entered. Voicemail management allows the user in the system to enter their extension number and PIN, and then they're able to check their messages and manage their voicemail account. External number will forward the call to another telephone number. Play messages allows you to record a message that will be played to the caller once selecting the option. Then you can decide on how to route the call after the message has been played. Add tier will allow you to add another dial pad menu to the auto attendant. Once another tier has been added, you will see the same options except for add tier, as you cannot add another tier to a tier. And the options for previous menu appear so that the caller can route back to the original auto attendant level. You cannot add a tier to the zero or star key. Repeat prompt will replay the menu options or the prompt message. The gear icon takes you to the option settings, which will allow you to enable calling an extension directly from the auto attendant if the caller knows the user extension's number. Configure what to do with a call if the caller does not press any digits in the auto attendant and what to do if a caller presses a key that is not configured in the dial pad menu options. Then, record the prompt message. Provided with a description, you can upload the menu prompt from an audio file on your desktop or you can have the system call you at an extension or phone number to record one. Once the menu prompt has been added, the menu prompt manager options will appear. You can play, edit, download, listen, upload a new menu prompt.